hello friends this is a short video regarding how to place the intramedullary fibular strut graft in approaching the non-union shaft humerus so first thing you need to do is to harvest the fibular graft you can use your own technique whether to use percutaneous technique or direct open technique for fibular graft harvesting the length of the fibular strut you need should be approximately equal to the length of resorbed segment of the shaft humerus non-union so the graft will look like this so you have to preserve the periosteal layer of the graft so because it is having osteogenic for the non-union part you have to remove the previous implant so that the canals can be exposed once that has been done the canal can be drilled with the best fitting reamer you can drill to a length that will be equal to the fibular stud you are removing because you will have to slide the fibular stud fully at least in one segment for the longer segment you will have to ream the canal to a point that will be equal to the length of the fibular stud so if your length of fibular stud is somewhere somewhere here so you have to ream at least till this point so once that is done th then you have to ream the distal segment also and after that you are ready for fibular strut placement suppose your fibular graft is oversized that means that the best fitting reamer is smaller than the fibular strut diameter or you can say thickness because the fibular strut is not a circular graft it is having a triangular cross section so you'll have to reshape the fibular strut according to the diameter of the reamer so the so the widest part of the fibular strut should be less than the reamer size so you'll have to shape it according to that you can use bone nibbler bone cutter or even saw to shape the fibular strut and for the terminal parts you have to make them tapered so that the insertion is easier once that has been done you have to push the fibular strut in the longer segment first so here it is the longer segments you have to push the fibular strut in this segment as proximally as possible till the point only some part of the graft is proud at the fracture site after that what you can do you keep this end proud and realign the fracture so that the fibular strut is now pointing towards the canal of distal segment and using a cocker's forceps then slide it back into the distal fragment till the point both proximal and distal fragments are having equal size of the fibular strut or you can slide the graft more towards the side where the resorption is more for example here the resorption is larger in the proximal fragment here so we have kept the graft somewhat more in the proximal fragment after that try to gain some compression at the fracture site you can use a bone holder here and bone holder here and try to compress the fracture site so that this gap gets covered and once that has been done you can just put the locking plate over this construct now you'll be drilling through four cortices first is the humerus cortex then there will be fibular cortex then again there will be fibular cortex and then there will be humerus cortex again so you will be drilling four cortices so this is a radiograph of similar case in which the fibular stud was placed proximally and distally you see there are actually four cortices first is humerus cortex then there's small cortex is visible here which is of fibula then the fibular cortex on the other side again then the humerus cortex on the other side so total of four cortices in some cases in which the canal is very narrow what you can do you can split the fibula into two halves and then slide the strut in the proximal and distal fragment in the same manner as we have shown in the previous slide thank you hope that it helps